So once your artifacts are defined, the next step is to define your individual stages. Now generally a deployment uh, or release pipeline will have multiple stages such as development, release, QA and uh, production or maybe even a stage. So uh, these are the stages that you can define and each stage will have a set of tasks and, and jobs configured uh, as per the need. And, and in order to create a stage, uh, uh, you have here we have created the artifact, and uh, now I'm going to add a new stage. So once again, just like your configuration pipeline, when you're adding a stage, you can select a predefined template uh, based on the standard uh, technologies, or you know, in I think I can say empty. So once the stage is selected, you can go ahead and create. A, uh, you can go ahead and give a give it a name. Uh, so I can say development, and then you know this is the name of my uh, stage. I can call it as development, and then I can, and then uh, go ahead and save the pipeline. So once then now I have an artifact, one artifact which is the output of my demo pipeline, and I have one stage which is my development stage. And, uh, and and I can now I can create multiple stages, which is which is a uh, which uh, is is connected to the previous stage. I can have uh, something like uh, QA, and uh, you know I can have uh, uh, development QA, and then I can have all the stages. So here in this scenario, whenever whenever we create a release, it will first be deployed to development, and then will be deployed to the QA. So that is that is how you can correct multiple stages uh, in a sequence, and then enable security and enable op approvals, which we'll see in the later stage on this particular uh, release pipeline.